guys, today I'm filming my makeup empties. I don't have very many, but I will give some mini reviews so you can decide whether to purchase or not to purchase. So the first one that I finished is Smashbox Camera Ready BB Cream SPF 35 in light. I wouldn't repurchase this because this was too orange for me and also it doesn't have like a it it has fine coverage but it's not like perfect perfect so would not repurchase. Another one uh, that I finished is Makeup Forever's full cover concealer in I think in number four. It is a very heavy coverage and it covers uh, so it means like it will cover everything that anything on your face but uh, this is kind of dry for the under eye circles so I wouldn't recommend uh, using it under eyes but for blemishes perfect I would repurchase it um, once I finished with my other concealers another makeup forever cream shadow in number 13 this is a that's the swatch of it it's a very beautiful champagne color but it dried out so a bummer but um, I wouldn't really repurchase any of the cream shadows uh, because they dry up too fast this one I really recommend um, getting this if you can get your hands on it this is a Tooth House a Tude House Dr. Mascara Fixer. So what it does is that it fixes your curls. It works as the mascara base. It doesn't have any color on it, so it, it will not leave any like strange white cast on your lashes. Um, but it will hold your curl no matter what on your rainy days also. And I think this is a cheaper version of the Clarins Fixer Mascara Fixer. Mascara fixer or something, so it does the same thing, but it's like a one third of the price. So I definitely recommend this. They usually have this um, in purple too, but that one has like fake lashes um, inside, so it will lengthen your lashes. But I don't recommend getting that because uh, for me, it doesn't do anything. Get this one and not the not the purple one. Another product from Etude House is this Color Pop in number 10, and that's the swatch of it. So uh, this is actually the uh, cheaper version of YSL's uh, lip stain. So it has the gloss and stain in one. Uh, it moisturizes, but I wouldn't rebuy this, repur uh, repurchase this because only because I have thousands of others to use up. Um, so it was a decent product but wouldn't repurchase that. This one, this one, I really recommend this. This should, this um, is, this comes in a, like a lip balm, like stick type, stick type balm um, uh, to fix your eye makeup. So I usually carry this and also a bunch of Q-tips uh, inside my pouch. So whenever I want to fix my makeup, I can dip the Q-tip in there or you can use the stick right on your onto your eyes and then remove your eye makeup with the q-tip and you can fix your eye makeup so I used up uh, two and I have backup so definitely definitely re would repurchase this also I have a perfume sample from where is it from Lo Narciso Rodriguez for her Mm, not really. Um, it, it was okay, but not special. Wouldn't repurchase. I mean, would not purchase in a full size. I've used up two of the nail polishes that I have, but um, it, they're not empty because they got all goopy and I can't apply them fine on my nails. This is Essie's Lapis of Luxury. And this is... Um, um, by Beyond, which is a Korean cosmetic company. I don't use regular nails now. I I had them in my project polish for 2015, but I don't think that I will be very fast using up um, all my nail polishes, but because I started doing gel nails, um, so I don't really need any regular nail polishes. 
So that's that. I uh, would not repurchase. So that's all for my makeup. Yay! Uh, for next month, I will have more. Uh, so see you in my next video. Bye!